<laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't this happen already? Didn't Novak Djokovic already complete the vegan athlete cycle? You know, go vegan, get injured, realize it's the diet, go back to eating meat again and feel better. Uh, guys, I know my memory is bad, but it's not this bad. And apparently Novak is pushing the vegan nonsense again as a poster boy for plant-based diets. Is the lack of B12 and omega fatty acids rotting their brains? Or is it the fat soluble vitamins and amino acids? This doesn't make any sense because Novak went vegan back in 2016, saw a drop in his performance, even became injured coincidentally after he went vegan, but he started eating meat again, rose back to the top, reclaimed his Wimbledon title, and now that he's at the top again, he's pushing the vegan diet. Is he gonna do it till he busts open his other elbow? Before we jump into this, keep in mind how all of these vegan athlete stories go. Top marketable athletes get cut a deal with the vegan devil, big broccoli, whatever you want to call it. They go vegan for a few months, say how great they feel, yet a year later they're injured and on the verge of retirement despite all of the performance enhancing drugs they take. And we've done many videos on this in the past. There's a laundry list of athletes that retired after they went vegan. Back in late 2016, Novak claimed he was not motivated to play tennis for months. This was the specific period of time where he was first into the vegan diet. Mid-2015 through 2016, he became heavily involved in plant-based nonsense, even opening a vegan restaurant. He lost that aggressive athletic drive and turned into the typical vegan sissy la la fairy boy that we all know and love. As we said, Novak has already done the no longer vegan thing from April 2017. Finally, Novak's confession about the diet. I am no longer vegan. Jelena is not determining what I am eating. Much criticism went Novak to Djokovic's way after winning Roland Garros last year, where he recorded drop in play and motivation. It seems that many of those critiques came from Serbia, at the expense of our player's diet and most successful sportsman this country has ever had. Djokovic started eating meat again. Well, thank you, Lord. This is the news that everyone awaited ever since Novak's game has taken a turn for the worse. According to former Serbia's Davis Cup coach Bogdan Obradovic, Novak has started eating meat again. Last year, he didn't play for weeks. That's no good. He reduced his training, then he started with a strange way of nutrition. He meditated more than he hit the ball. It's the textbook vegan athlete story. Go vegan, have your performance drop, be in denial that the vegan diet is causing the issue, but suddenly, as soon as he starts eating meat again, bang, wins Wimbledon. So despite all of this back and forth nonsense, the vegans still try to use Novak for marketing after he quit the vegan diet. Soon as he reclaims the Wimbledon, they use the clever plant-based marketing term. I don't like the labels, to be honest. I do eat plant-based for quite a few years already, he told reporters. But because of the misinterpretations of labels and the misuse of labels, I just don't like that kind of name. I do eat plant-based. I think that's one of the reasons why I recover well. I don't have allergies that I used to have anymore, and I like it. <laughs> we know what plant-based is. It's a marketing term to pretend you're vegan when you're not. It's what celebrities, actors, athletes use to market the vegan diet while still eating steak and fish. Let's move on to what triggered this video today. His recent interview on plant-based news with your favorite boy, Klaus. And so we started slowly uh, taking off layer by layer and really going, uh, going deep into, um, into things that are related to my health and trying to understand what is the core of it. So, of course, diet was one of the most integral uh, part of the problem and, and ch changing the diet was uh, something that allowed me to um, get rid of the allergies and everything, particularly gluten and dairy that I removed from my diet um, and refined sugar. I mean, he's pretending like he hasn't been on and off vegan for five years, or oh, well, 10 years. He's pretending like it's something 
absolutely new. So it was a, it was a change, but I was very determined because I, I could feel instantly right after the first session, second session with him, I could, I could sense that there is an improvement. Is that why you were meditating out in the field instead of playing tennis? Family was initially concerned when you were losing yeah. weight, right? Yes, yes, they um, they were initially concerned, um, and I was actually start, start, you know starting to um, get rid of the red meat as well because I felt like I had also um, I had to put a lot of energy and effort uh, into digestive process to to digest the, the meat. So and and that would take a lot of essential energy that I need for you know, for my focus, for the recovery, for the next training session or for the next match. That, that was the, 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 the initial point of the journey that got me to the point where I am at the moment where I'm eating plant-based. Apparently, putting effort into digesting red meat isn't much of an issue if you had to start eating meat again to regain your Wimbledon title. It was a really interesting journey that started when, when you mentioned in 2010. Uh, yeah, um, why don't you tell us more about your journey, Novak? get real specific with your injuries, going off vegan, now you're suddenly pretending you're vegan again. Oh wait, plant-based, 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 oh, oh, forget, oh. What do you eat in an average day today? Uh, well, I, I start off always, um, when, I, when I rise from the bed, I, I start with uh, warm water and lemon, so I can help my body detoxify. Um, and then I, I would have uh, celery juice on an empty stomach. And then I would make a break and then I would have my, my smoothie, um, green smoothie with different algae um, and, and, and different fruits and uh, superfoods, um, great supplements that I use that uh, allow me to have mental clarity. This is funny. It's like when he's answering the questions, he's thinking of what they told him to say. And not even what they told him to say, this is like textbook vegan nonsense. If you could input with the computer into his brain what the typical vegan would do, that's how he answered these questions. Waking up with lemon water, celery juice, green juice, superfoods, it's hilarious that he did mention he needed supplements for mental clarity, basically acknowledging the diet is deficient in certain things, omega fatty acids, B vitamins. And I eat a lot of fruits um, for the first part of the day, uh, salads. Um, I don't like to eat um, any food that would uh, require much, of a, uh, much energy for digestion, especially in the first part of the day, because that's when I need the most energy for my training. So I'm keeping things quite light and I would have probably like, um, you know, uh, pseudo grains like uh, quinoa and millet and uh, wild rice, uh, sweet potato and normal potato, like steamed or boiled. Doesn't like to eat food that requires energy for digestion. You ever think that if you're not using energy to digest food that your body isn't digesting the food? Probably that it's just going right through you undigested. Even when cows eat grass, they literally lay down half the day to digest the grass. If you eat something and you don't feel like you ate something, you didn't eat anything, and that's very likely on the vegan diet because it's not actually food. And this whole vegan nonsense is despicable. All of the influencers on YouTube in general are pushing agendas, but vegans are at the forefront of making people infertile and sick. So you have a lot of influencers pretending like everything's normal, they're just making videos as usual, but the vegans are shoving this agenda down your throat. They're part of it, they're participating in it, they are at the forefront. We should go back and look at the videos the vegans made when meat was off the shelves. They were happy. They were happy that people were deprived of meat. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. I, mean, I had to point out this hypocrisy. It's driving me crazy. It's crazy. What, what, what marketing can't they do if they're able to do this? If they're able to use a recycled ex-vegan, it's, I don't know what to say. Uh, you guys know how to support me, all the stuff down in the comments below. Uh, Frankie's Fury Range Meat should have restocked on a lot of stuff we were missing right now. Uh, so definitely place an order if you guys want everything to be shipped out by next week. You can also go to Organ Supplements. Uh, we're almost out of a couple things on Organ Supplements, so definitely grab it while you can. Uh, Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredient, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And you can go to frank for a one-on-one -on -one health and diet consultation. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you soon.